You've reached Hall in Mockery. We'll have to <sighs> exercise the demons <laughs> after this. <laughs> Joey, We're back. did you bring your Wooja board? Yes, I did. Oh, are there demons in here? I mean, what is this? A plank? What's a planchette? Tell me. <laughs> Answer the question. What's a planchette? If you could describe it's, a planchette. It's the dressing that they put on the kind of hot beef sandwich yes 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 right you're right you, do you get you're yours yeah? yes do you get yours drier with extra planchette okay uh, i know i was playing the other day with like my planchette and then like my oju board and you're we were right there it. talking to you mean you're all playing these things with what you said you were playing with it i just feel I, like I it's mean, not something that i think it's more of a serious um yeah you i don't, don't joke around with about planchette. i just i just don't joke around about planchette but that's fine if you okay. do. Um, so I guess that's a good segue into what exactly you do here at Mediaverse Studios. Should we explain a little bit better no. about... Yeah, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> no, go ahead. What is the question again? Um, I think we need to spend a little more time on the planchette, actually. Mm -hmm. I hate to do this, but... That's okay. So you don't get extra planchette for your hot beef sandwich? Because they'll they'll do the planchette for you in the back first. Because you'll be like, I want an extra planchette, so they do it to the point where the bread's falling apart. Yeah. But you can also ask for more, right? So you can like just drink from the styrofoam cup, the the planchette. You must know a guy, because like all, my planchette is always Thank you. pretty basic. Yeah, I know Al's hot planchette. Um, yeah, uh, you have to get the extra hot extra spicy planchette there's that new show that's on about the chef that work it, he does like planchette stuff it's called the planchette oh. it's a chef he has all these tattoos and like jamie lee curtis is in an episode for some reason i thought you were talking about halo that show with the master halo, chef halo. right that's the one i saw yeah master yeah. Chef. Like curtina Kurt, miss curtina yeah yeah mm -hmm. there's that one about the, like the guy that cheeks Master Cheeks. That's, the one. That's what it was. Yeah, that, that was, was when I was looking at Venn diagrams with safe search off. That's a callback <laughs> to something else you'll never see. Ladies and gentlemen, link we in have description. <laughs> link in description. And Lincoln, my favorite president, once described this country as being four score and seven year ago. Uh -huh. And full of vampires. Yeah. Four score and full of vampires. Um, I mean, uh, look at my hat. <laughs> hey. He's trying to distract us from the truth. Do you know that His guy? giant head is hiding a giant head. I have to get this out. Please. Do you know the the character that fishes from Halo? Masturbator. <laughs> yeah. We're at Mediaverse Studios this week. This is Colin Mockery. And what is Mediaverse, you ask? Well, we've got the someone that works here. I don't want to give him too many titles, hmm. but I also don't want to give him not enough titles because then he'll feel like I've undersold him. So we're going to let him explain who he is and then we're going to do our shtick. Yeah. So my name is Landon and I... Oh. Oh, actually, no. I guess you first. Go ahead. Oh, please, please. By all means. No, no. I I mean, I started the place, but no, go ahead. All right, you go ahead. Famous titles for a thousand. Um... My name is Jake, and hold for applause. We get a lot of applause. Got it. All right, we get snaps. Oh. Joey, take your earbud out. Oh, sorry. And we're back. <laughs> <laughs> Jake, Jake, tell the kind people who the heck. How's you it are. going, brother? Uh, I How the heck? I'm doing going. fantastic. Yes. Uh, I am the owner operator of Mediaverse Studios. We are here in Marengo, Iowa at our studio. Uh, this is the cinema set. We have all the old you know, popcorn machine and the old theater chairs. Uh, this is where we do a lot of our podcasting. But we do a lot of um, filmmaking here. We have film sets. We have a theater in the back. We have a pre-production, post-production room. Uh, we just... We love making movies, and we want to help the filmmaking community, including these two knuckleheads, uh, <laughs> doing what they do best. God, I can't wait to... Uh, 
Yeah. Checking. Just checking is still a knuckle up there. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. I've been accused of many things. How'd you get, so how'd you get the idea for this? I just sentence? wanted to tell you. <laughs> Go ahead, Joey. How'd you get the idea for the cinema set? <laughs> is that the question you want to ask? <laughs> Well, well, just you're talking about. I just I you talked about what you do here, but I didn't really he- listen. So I was just wondering, how'd you get the idea for the cinema set? You talk. It looks right. like you like movies. Is that true? We do there's like movies. Old, there's an old clapboard. Hmm. Well, we have a vaccination for that. Yeah. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Because <laughs> I've been needing one of those. I got the old clapboard doctor. Okay, and he's like, "All right, bend over," and you're just like, "What?" My name's Joey Laboda. Mm-hmm. Ben Dover was your previous patient. There it is. Uh, yeah, we do love movies, and we love people that make movies, and we love people that love movies. And sometimes they come onto this podcast set, and mm-hmm. uh, they like the old timey feel. You know, we got the old chairs, we got the popcorn. We've got all the like fun vintage cinema. Like, let's go to the lobby. That whole deal. Marker, marker. <laughs> so if you like cinema, an action. You can do a podcast here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's an elephant. Were you upset when you got to the industry and there weren't elephants and mm-hmm. little circus ladies walking around with golden dresses on? Mm-hmm. I think that you lady? and I have different ideas of the industry. The industry, because I get that all the time. Oh, I guess I've never been to the industry. Um, when I first showed up at the industry, they said, we're closed on Sunday. So I came back the next day. That was a, no, that was a Chick-fil-A. Oh, that's, that explained why I didn't get my ice dream shake. I'm sorry. My ice dream sickle shake. Some call it Chick-fil-A my, the, uh, the freaking murder industry, the yeah. murder of chickens. And you know who says that? The cows. No, wait. No. The no, vegans. wait. The ve- you two. Oh, well, I also, st- but I stand for their politics, and so it's <laughs> <laughs> the cows' politics. <laughs> well, the, I stand for the cows' politics because they're like eat more chickum. I think cows should be able to I'm fart as that. much as they want. That's my political take. Agreed. So I see a sign over here that says you uh, you have an open house on October twenty fourth. Okay, so that's yes. past. And by the by the viewing of this episode, it will have been at least two weeks past. Yeah. Um, but okay. yes, we did have an open house here at Mediaverse Studios. We had plenty of community members and filmmakers come. I believe you two were there. I think I saw oh, you. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Interesting. That's what were we doing? Nice cool. of you to notice. But yeah. Okay. Thank you. You probably didn't notice because we were kind of. We weren't really doing our thing. We like were, most people expect us to come and they're like, it's the it's the Colin Mockery guys. They're gonna chop right. it up and chop us up like chopped liver. Right. Yeah. Like, they no. were chewing no fat. No, no, no fat at all. We showed up and we're like, Hello, nice to meet you. Very nice to see you. Yeah. We said, I'm Jimmy Carter. I'm Jimmy Carter. Hello. So stern. So professional. Yeah. So How's the same go? clothes, exact same clothes. They haven't changed. That's maybe actually true. Actually, case, yeah. But, uh, oh, I gotta cover that. I got some stains on this. It's all good. <laughs> no, we accept all kinds here. A lot, yeah, of, a lot of cookies at the uh, we, until it. We shouldn't have ate all that planchette mm-hmm. juice before. It blows you because it it's so here. there's so much like wood pulp in it. Yeah, <laughs> that's what you know. Vegetarians and vegan, and I I stand with you. I mean, I don't. You don't because you're not. <laughs> no, but I but stand. stand I I agree with the message, but I just. Uh, well, I'm a coward, and I, I and I'm not brave enough to actually live out my ideals. But uh-huh. and I like to eat uh, the food that comes from it uh, of uh, the murder of innocent animals. But I think we need a separate group mm-hmm. of uh, activist uh, anti wood pulp eaters. Yeah, because it, it's in your it's in your parmesan. It's in everything. It's we it's need in to your... be done with it. But do we? Killing the trees. It keeps things separate, but equal. But here's the thing: we've been doing it for so long. It's like I guess it. I guess it's fine. Because yeah. when I first heard about that, I'm like, the next time I eat something with wood pulp in it, I'm gonna get poisoned. No, because I've been eating wood pulp for years. And that's what the appendix is for. Exactly. Yes. Right. We all know that. It's the wood pulp filter. Yeah. I eat my receipts because that's I go a step further. It's yeah. not just not eating meat, but it's also I don't want to waste 
Like you get receipts, that's a waste. Yeah. yeah. You seen these CVS <laughs> receipts? Oh my god. That is a four oh. course meal. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I bought a bag of chips, and I guess I, 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 I guess I'm also getting this scarf. <laughs> Strike her out of here. Hey, my pointing, baby Ruth. <laughs> have you seen any movies recently? I have. Thank you for asking. Yep. So there's seven guys in the forest. <laughs> there's four of them. They touch tree trunk. A lot of people tell me to touch grass. Because I'm chronically online. But that's Speaking of here grass, nowhere. we have probably like there six or so yes. acres of open field here, which is like a straight up playground for us to make films out of. We oh. also have a long uh, old on. livestock oh. sale ring that we're going to turn into a movie theater. Uh, and then down the alley to our you know, stage right here, uh, we have a, a set of like stables that have been renovated to become film sets. Uh, much like this parable of the mm. tree trunk elephant blind shaft grasping. Yes. <laughs> we are working incredibly hard to make this a very collaborative, immersive space for end-to-end -end filmmaking, creativity, artistic expression, uh, which we want to invite the entire Midwest community to come and experience and create their things here. <laughs> Did that work for you? I think so, and and I think what you're gonna give me now is even better. What kind of sets do you got up in this place? You mentioned the little stalls that are gonna. Each one is a little vignette of a life, a life lived. Isn't that beautiful? You think of a. Some people look at a living room. And they go a living room, a seat, a place for me to sit and fart. I think of a living room as like the love that's been experienced here. And the maybe the fights that have been had, but the hugs afterwards, right? The father telling his kids, um, you know, we, why'd you mow the grass? You're supposed to do it back and forth, but sideways yeah. so you can see the lines in the grass. You're teaching and the grass to grow plants. wrong. Right. You're right. teaching the grass to go wrong. And you're just kind of like, I don't know, I just mowed it. He's like, that's not how you do it. And you're like, you never taught me how to do it. And he's like, why do I need to teach you how to, touch, how to cut grass? And, I, and I'm like, a lot of people tell me to touch grass. <laughs> Because I'm chronically online. <laughs> I just like to get out there and mow because it gives me a chance to take my shirt off in front of the neighbor. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Who hasn't so, been there? Who hasn't been there? And that's what the stories you're trying to tell here. Right. Stories we can all relate to. Taking your shirt off for the neighbor lady who you know her husband's not giving it up that much anymore. Mm -hmm. Right. So you're trying you're just trying to hop in there, right? You're kind of between things right now. You're seeing someone kind of, but you're also kind of seeing your, your teacher but you know that can't really go anywhere because yeah. right. you're not supposed to do that stuff anymore. I roll. So you're thinking maybe the neighbor lady, while well, her husband's out of town, she'll see you with your shirt off. You'll say, I have nipples, Greg, can you milk me? Stuff like that. So you is have, that the kind of stories you're yes. telling here? You have absolutely captured the vibe of Mediaverse mm -hmm. Studios. Thank you. Thank I, you. I could not have said it better myself. Uh, yeah, we have sets that can be tailor made to whatever project you're working on. Uh, Name one. Uh, one of them is called the Poltergeist, and let me tell you, this that's thing, a set. No, this th this is a project. This oh, oh my god, I was about to throw up. I was so confused. Yeah, no, 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 no. no. They're, they're going to be using a hospital set. Wow. Uh, that we have built. That we that we found a hospital bed uh, off of this some guy's apartment, and we <clears throat> we scoped him out for a solid week. Hey man, it's week. okay. <laughs> She's getting choked up. I, so this is, I know this goes. It, I'm we, very passionate about We talk this. about, yes, we talk yeah. about, and the lives that have been lived in the hospital room, right? Yeah, a lot of people see a hospital bed, they just think people like farting in the hospital bed. Right. I think right. of the fights, the dad's like, why would you do that? You knew you were going to end up here if you ran over your foot with the lawnmower. Yeah. And you said, I needed to check the lines. And he said, I said, check the lines when you're, you know, before, hasn't after, been there. not during. We've got we've got a bedroom, we've got an apartment, we've got a church, you know, and we're building continuously from there because of a, almost unlimited space uh, and opportunity or potential to make these things, right? So we're looking at like things that are hard to find, uh, like like a hospital or like a courtroom or like a diner or like a, you know, name a name a space, and we can probably make Vatican. It. We could. <laughs> Yeah, we could probably do that. Okay, you know, we have a time not, machine. We can grab ourselves a little Leonardo and get yeah. him some Sistine Chapel action. Yeah, I like Easy. that. Because I've got an idea for something 
I don't know if I should say it. Well, maybe I will. Oh, I should have Michelangelo. No, Da Vinci? Who the hell did the... Well, you said Little Leonardo, which is... My favorite I Ninja think Turtle. is like my cousin's name. Like, hey, there's Little Leo. Yeah. There's like that whole thing. One of the Ninja Turtles. We're going to get them from the past. and You know, you get it. Paint the... Yeah, yeah. The 16 Chapel. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, you were saying about your plan chat. I have an idea that it just sparked for me. Does it spark joy? Mm, we'll find out. <laughs> it's waiting. called Wood Pope. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to need a Vatican for that. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. I'm in. Yeah, 100%. That, that's right, that's so... that easy. <laughs> you have an idea, pitch it. And, I'm in. Now and, we're going to make your, your stuff happen. And can we... Can we... Uh... Where, where, where how do people contact you? We're gonna get yeah. a lot of people, a lot of viewers on this. Uh, Skazo, one of our good friends, mm -hmm. who watches every episode, he might want to contact you, follow where you're going. All these different people that watch our show, mm -hmm. how can they do it? Um, so we have a website. <gasps> oh, it's on the old interwebs, like a www. It is. It is a w. Is it like a dot go? Listen, it's a dub dub dub. Dub, that's, dub, what the, dub? that's what the kids are saying. Dub, dub, dub. Dot. Right. Hey, that puts me in mind of our like, phone number, which, by the way, you should smash those digits. 319-DUB-MIT. Give us a call. Uh, I think you spelled it wrong. M-I-I-T. M-I-I-T. Yeah, yeah. D-U-B-M-I-I-T. I-I. Two eyes. Two eyes. Two eyes. Two eyes. That's right. how you remember. I always tell people it's because I we have two eyes. Yeah. Two eyes, two eyes, two eyes. Like mm -hmm. that yep. saying. Smash those digits. And but also, go to www.com. Wait. Nope. There's got to be something. Close. There's got to be something in the there's middle. A, there's a little bit. Okay. It's dub, dub, middle, dub, but it got dot back. Mediaverse Studios. Mm -hmm. dot, ready for this. CO. <gasps> Not they got it. They got it. They got us. They got a co. You're a company. We couldn't. And listen, hold the applause. Oh. We could not get the com. I apologize. Oh. Oh. So yeah. you had to get the co. We had to get the co. Well, I mean, uh, some people have to do the the www two dot something. That's right. That's a whole thing. That's like second internet. It's At like that w point, you might as well just give up. Yeah. If you're on second internet, what what do you? I'm not going to second internet. There's so much internet, like just base level internet. There's too much. I'm never getting around to. Okay, well, I've done with this floor. The floor is infinite. Yeah. Anything sure. you want is on the internet. You got to check this stuff out these days. What has been one of your favorite things on the internet so far? Hmm. Not to put you on the spot, but this is just a question we ask all of our guests. Mm -hmm. so. That's a fair question. This is a very fair question. Um, hmm. We'll wait. I, you know. Yeah, no, I'm thinking because we've answered the question yeah, a million times, no, as me, you know. Like, and you host the you host the the Mediaverse podcast. I do. Correct. So you understand that you giving us dead air right now is just basically the death knell of our podcast. <laughs> we might as well just pack it up and go home. Right. And I, I'm I'm just and take your time. Yeah. So I really like live streams of deep sea footage where they have like the oh, you want that little robot you want that scary ish. Yeah. Yeah. You get like the the really deep submarine down there and it's live streaming. It's got a little tether up there. Yeah. And I'm not. I don't know about that. Ocean. It's it's uncharted waters and Whoa. you know. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, you get to see all kinds of water. It's great. Whoa. It's cool. Uh, <laughs> that's the best thing on the internet. That's cool. All right. I'll, we'll have to check that out and we'll put a link in the yeah. description. Did you have one? I answered it already. Wood Pope. <laughs> That's your favorite thing on the internet? Yes. Okay. It's going to be. Yeah. I didn't say when. I didn't mm -hmm. ask when. Mm -hmm. I said, what's your favorite thing on the internet? I mean, of all time. Yeah. Right. So in 20 years when Wood Pope is the number one <laughs> Google search. I didn't think about that. That's yeah. actually, yeah. You've gone above and beyond. Thank Mine you. is the yeah. fact that whenever I want, I can go on there and watch that uh, SNL sketch where it was Lindsay Lohan as Hermione. <laughs> Do you have any uh, other podcasts coming in? Um, we do. Thanks for asking. Good. Awesome. Uh, so let's say you've watched some movies recently. Let's just say. Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Peace. 
Whoa, were they? <laughs> He's got you now. Hook, line, and stinker. All right. So because spooky season was recent. Yes. I watched The Nun 2. <gasps> Have you seen the Nun two? No, I have not yet. Have, have you seen the Nun one? I have seen Nun one. Have you seen Nun one? Um, I've seen Nun one, but I have not seen Nun two. Okay. And uh, wait, have I seen Nun one? I don't know. I don't know because the Nun from Nun one, she show, she's like, she's everywhere. She's, she's popping up in the Conjureverse, you know. Yeah. yeah. So I might have just seen Annabelle creation. Because in Nun 1, she's also, she's young also, and also old. The, the Nun, you mean? The, yeah, and, and, yeah, Nun 1. I think Nun 1, the Nun is still a demon. Oh, okay. Maybe I haven't seen Nun 1. Okay. Have you seen Nun 1? I think so, yeah. So Nun 2 is the continuation of Nun 1. And oh, it was highly shit. disappointing to me. Wow. Whoa. I apologize to all the non two lovers. Yeah, unfortunately, there. our next guest is none. So <laughs> this is awkward. Wow. Are you ready for me? <laughs> no, oh, none. Man, and you're not going to want to hear this. Yeah, just go back in the green room, please. A pox on your seats. A excuse me? A pox on your seats. No, A it poxy. Was, it was White Claw. Oh. From earlier. Soggy ass. Yeah. Bye, nun. More like nun your business. Like, get the hell out of here. Yeah. We're talking to Jake. It was disappointing. It mm. was. Um, Why? It, I mean, it, it, so <laughs> cinematic graphically, it mm. was breathtaking. Ah. Beautiful a, movie. A, a kiss of delight. It was delight, the indeed. freshest kiss. <laughs> um, uh, it, Story wise, story wise. Uh oh, acting. They forgot the part about you have to make a story that's compelling, didn't they? I was not compelled. No, I was not compelled. It was the kind of movie where I found myself appreciating the first 10, 15 minutes of it, and then I'm like, okay, this is what we're gonna roast. <laughs> okay, you're not. Yeah, you're not gonna be clanging glasses over this one. Right. You pull. You get pulled out, and then it's like, okay, we're gonna just. You know, yep. Peace be with you, none mm. too. But the we power, have notes. none too happy with this movie. The power of the nun yep. compels you to turn the TV set off. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's worth watching all the way through. Oh, in, in case they make a nun three. Oh, okay. So you it didn't it turn you? Excuse me, my microphone just got pulled away from me by the nun. <laughs> uh, it wasn't so bad. Oh my goodness! It wasn't so bad that you're not gonna give it another chance when nun three comes out. Correct. Okay. I, I would watch a Nun 3, and I feel like a Nun 3 could really tie the room together with a Nun 2. That's good. Oh. That's that's interesting. It's the Lebowski rug. Yeah. I think they, they have a chance for it. It can sort of retcon its own goodness. Yes. Can I ask you another question about the movie? I don't think so. No, next question. <laughs> Do you have heart failure and often hear, Those stomach issues ruined your birthday. <laughs> I we we ask all of our guests this. Right? Okay. Yeah, it's it's one it's a sponsored thing, so we have to ask everyone. Got it. Hold okay, on can it. I get one more time, please? Yeah. Do you have heart failure and often hear those stomach issues ruined your birthday? Oh <laughs> uh, well, maybe because he ate a joy. What? Oh, he yeah. ate a cheeseburger. <laughs> Okay, we've reached the time in the show where we have to ask you uh, the hard-hitting yes. stuff. All right, let's have it. This is, we've, we've done it every week mm -hmm. for over four years at this point. Mm -hmm. This is the segment, Coffee Shop Stories. Show the graphic. That was awesome. Do you have a coffee shop story this week? I might need a definition of what a coffee shop story is. I apologize. Okay, so hasn't listened to the show. Yeah. So we, okay. first of all, four years of. That's no, part of that's the trap. Yeah. We like to trap you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we we know who we're the FBI and mm -hmm. you are. No, we're you're Chris Hansen. Yes. Okay. We're Chris Hansen and I'm me. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I want you to have a seat, in fact. And we're going to say Coffee Shop Stories is 
I mean, I, how, how do I put that? It's like a it's like a coffee shop story. It's like so. Do you get do you drink or consume a hot Java sling and mud cocoa dark you know coffee bean juice you know suck it down real good make you feel good? Yeah, I'll have a a burnt bean water every now and then. Yeah, you love the Arab arabica. You love it washed, maybe dried out in the sun. If you're getting a decaf, fair trade, yes, fair trade. Specifically dried on a asphalt slab in costa rica thank you okay so he okay shit this guy knows what's right. okay so, so you then, do like the brown the the, the brown bean juice i get down i get down with the brown slinging down with the colombia and the ethiopian so you've been to a coffee shop i sure, certainly Let's have keep building this lego house okay. okay we're getting there things happen when you're out in public <laughs> of which you can craft a story out of yes got it do you have any coffee shop stories that are true. Okay. We that don't are true. need fiction. I don't right. need. Yes, we don't I went need, to a like, coffee shop and they gave me. They accidentally gave me Jack Nicholson's coffee. Yeah, right. And then I turned around and he was there and he's like, "Hey, buddy. Hey, I think you got my mud Java sling and Arabica. Uh, Looks uh, like you're drinking my brown. You're drinking mud, buddy. My my Forget mud, it, Jake. My mud. It's brown, brown town. town. <laughs> You got any real stories? Because that's that happened to us. Yeah. So that, that was, was a, that was an example you, of a so real you story. Can't use that one. <laughs> oh, we, he we turned around. We know you're lying. Yeah. He said, "Forget it, Jake. It's Brown Town." So this happened earlier today. Yes. Whoa! This is ready? a fresh one. Piping hot do, for do, a coffee do, shop do, story. Do, do, do. So there I was mm -hmm. at the local corporate coffee shop. Oh, <laughs> Union Busters! Here we go. And I was standing in line. Mm. Right. And suddenly it was my turn. Yeah, yes. that's how that works sometimes. And so I go up and I say, I will have a large coffee, please. Oh, oh a large, Mr. A large. It was Excuse a, me. Is this one of those places where they call it, do they call it maybe uh, Mr. I, Benty? I'm pretty sure it's Venti. Mr. Benty? Or was this Scooters? Undisclosed. Undisclosed. <laughs> Undisclosed. You okay. Tell okay, us. okay, okay, okay. Interesting. No shade. We love those corporate coffee slingers. The corporate brown guzzlers. Um, and and they said that will be two dollars and thirty five cents for a large. That's pretty cheap. Okay, I'm the story's a little shaky right now, but continue. <laughs> I, I want to I want to let you know right ahead. This is going absolutely nowhere. Oh well, cool. I mean, we're already on the train, so don't throw mama from it. Okay, I used the oh, tap to pay. Too. No, you're not. I used the tap to pay on my phone. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. Yep. Doo -doo. And then I grabbed the large cup out of the stack of large cups. Okay. This is a self-serve yes. corporate yeah. coffee place. Okay. A self-serve corporate coffee place. Where the heck is that? God, we got to get... Will you tell us off air? I'm dying to know. <laughs> Where the corporate place is. When we, when we say cut and we're done, will you turn the cameras off and you make sure we're not recording anymore? Will you tell me what coffee place this is? No. Okay. <laughs> oh. So... Um, I grab my large cup. I uh, walk over into the selection of yes. pre-made coffee towers. Yeah. You, know, yeah. you know the ones. Um, and I went to the blonde, blonde coffee brown. roast, yeah. right? The breakfast blend. Yeah, the brown. Because blend. I know for a fact that the lighter roast contain more caffeine. caffeine. Mm. Yep. So if you have a sleepless night, yeah. you yes. want to go for the lighter roast. Exactly. Yes. Right? Thank you. So I push the little down, the mm -hmm. little toggle, you know, and it stays down because it's one of the fancier ones. You have to hold it. You don't got to hold it. They spent That's the money nice. on it. Wow. Um, filled it all the way up to the brim, tipped it off. Put my little lid on there. It was really hot. Like they make this stuff really hot. Oh, my. It's a piper. Yes. So I took one of those little diaper sleeves. Yeah. Out of the little. And then yes. Up. Yep. The thing Patrick Dempsey invented. That's it. Yep. Slid my guy on there. Mm -hmm. um, Slid my very guy. nice and like just sleeved it right on. Fit yeah. Perfectly. Sleeve that guy. Walked it back to the. Walked it back to my my cha, corporate cha, 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 hell hole. Cha, cha, cha. Yep. Wow. That's the story. That's the whole story. I got coffee. Wow. Mm, this is. You good. know what? This is a good. I'm glad we did this, guys. Yeah. This is a good, uh, well, we'll let Skazzo tell us in the comments. Mm -hmm. He loves coffee shop stories. So give us a rating on that one, buddy. Um, can I, I have a little bit of one. I do too. If I may. I hope they're better. Well, I tried. Okay. So I went into not 
the corporate, but yeah. the local, I'll call it coffee shop. Mm-hmm. I went into the local coffee shop. Yeah, Brown Town. And I got uh, a latte. Now, typically, uh-uh. pe- people have been, for the last decade at least, 10 th- plus, they've been shoving down my throat bacon. Bacon flavor, bacon yeah. mints, bacon. Isn't the funniest thing on earth to have bacon? Mm-hmm. You're like, no, why, why is that funny? A bacon sticker. A sticker on my coat that is a bacon. <laughs> bacon Band-Aid. What if you hurt yourself and you wrapped it in bacon? <laughs> <laughs> and for years, I've, I said, I like bacon fine, sure. I know you guys can. <laughs> you get the tofu bacon. Yes. Oh, bacon. Yes, the Tempa Aiken. No. And we'll bring you some. It's bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible. And for for years and then they started incorporating what if a donut had bacon? Mm-hmm. What if uh what if a uh, what if a uh, ice cream had bacon? What if everything you love had bacon? Wouldn't that just be so funny and so cool? And then people convinced themselves that it tasted good. <laughs> so they kept doing it and they kept doing it and they kept doing it. So I go to this local coffee shop, and what's on the menu but a maple bourbon bacon latte? Ooh. Now, he got it. He can't not try it. For the good of the show. That's bullshit. And for because it said maple bourbon. Yes. Usually, good. I like a maple. I like the bourbon flavor. I like those pairings mm-hmm. with coffee. I say good. Now, bacon at the, on the end there. I kind of overlooked that because I'm like, it's just a hint of bacon. They mm. And I trust this coffee shop. It's one of the good ones. A local, artisanal, and they, they, it's always good. I think there's good coffee shops on both sides. Well, sure. But <laughs> they usually have great stuff. So I said, I'm going to try them. Mm. I trust them. I think maple bourbon and just a hint of bacon might do okay. Salt. I drink it and it's yes. salt. It's salt. What I was gonna guess was maybe maybe some sort of hickory smoke flavor and some salt. It's just salt. I'm drinking a cup of salt. Okay. I get no maple. I get no bourbon. Ooh. Oh. Oh. I I've... barely even get bacon. It's mm-hmm. just salty. Hmm. It's a hot cup of oat milk that tastes like salt. Okay. And it was like seven dollars yeah. because I had to get oat milk because I can't handle dairy anymore because <laughs> you I'm care a about twenty the... year old. What? What? Oh. No, I wasn't gonna. Say, I wasn't gonna say anything because I care about what? What? No, 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 no. You're still no, no, no. Because I care about what? You're... All right, we're going there. So I'm gonna say you're gonna care about the cows, but you're not gonna care about the pigs. The ma- the, bacon. the bacon. What is the deal here? You think I don't get the milk? No, I don't get the oat milk because I'm saving the cows' udders. But you are. I'm getting the oat milk because I like that it costs even more money to squeeze oats into milk. How do they do oh, that? They literally <laughs> squeeze oats into milk. I got nipples, Greg. Can you milk me? Says an oat. <laughs> <laughs> it just doesn't add up. I just don't. I'm not buying it. I like that it wastes more water to milk <laughs> nuts and oats than it does to milk a cow. That's now, what I, I, well, I also get, like that. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. We're good. We're good. Okay. Uh, so so oh, that's salt. basically it. It tastes like salt. I have to drink the whole thing though because I feel bad that mm. I've wasted seven dollars. You know what I mean? It's I, one I of those don't. where I'm like, "Well, you tricked me." And Did it get better with time? No. Was it because it was? And it, 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 it was. It wasn't. The adjectives weren't aligned correctly. Like it wasn't maple coffee. It wasn't bourbon coffee. It was bacon coffee, but the bacon was also maple bourbon bacon. Maple bourbon bacon. Mm. But yeah. It, yeah. You know. If they would have just said, well, frankly, they should have just called it bacon. I have two coffee shop stories. Jeez. I was big dogged at two of them. <laughs> <laughs> you got big dogged? I went to the coffee shop this morning. I go here often. Now, what I've realized, and I've picked up on this, they usually rotate their drip. And I'm usually late to work by about two hours. So I'm going in, I go, what do you got on drip? And they used to tell me, you got this, we got the, this, the Santa Jose, the Usabugu, we got the lampshade, we got, you know, I love lamp and all this. And, but lately it's been, we have the Columbia, we have the Columbia, we have the Columbia. And I pick up on this, I understand, but I'm still asking them. Today, as she says, I got the Columbia and I went, you know what, I'm going to do a pour over. 
I get the pour over and she goes, and just so you know, it's always Colombia. <laughs> <laughs> it's always Colombian and it's here till one. I'm like, okay. <laughs> They're sick of you. They're sick of me asking. Ass. I'm like, well, you're the one that used to change it all the time. Yeah. Now they've switched ownerships. This is a, this is talk of the town. But I thought maybe they were going to keep the tradition alive of not just having the same one. But no. I was big dogged and told it's always the same. It's always the same. She's like, what's your name again? Joey. It's always the same. And I was like, okay, I'm sorry. I didn't know I was going to get in trouble. I thought that was going to be my only coffee shop story. Today. Did you tell her? Well, it used to not be. Or did you I, just say, okay, uh, sorry. Uh, I'm a little. I was pig. just embarrassed because I still had like morning voice. Yeah. So I was just like. Hey, can I get the? <laughs> you sound cool. Uh, for actually, once in you know what? Can I get the vegan pull? And then she's like, "It's actually always Colombia." I'm like, "Oh yeah, I oh, thought you um, said that last time." She's like, "No, I didn't. I've never told you this before. <laughs> I'm big dogging you." Did you tell her it was for a podcast though? That's what I should have done. Yeah, but I didn't think about it till after I, I when when I was leaving, I was like, "This I, this is actually for a podcast." Right. And she's like, "What is?" And I was like, "My <laughs> life, apparently." Yeah. Right. Cut to smash cut. She would have thought you had Riz. Smash cut to tonight where I did have Riz. Oh. I go in. I'm getting a little something Whoa. for the show. Oh. Okay. The I don't want action. the coffee because I've had coffee. It's six o'clock at night. <laughs> As I've told you, I'm chronically late to work. I shan't be up later than I need to. Yeah. So I walk in and she goes, how's it? And I, she says, hi. I say, how's it going? And she goes, oh, it's going. Whoa. So the vibe, of course, now is. Horny. Mr. Rizzler. <laughs> I'm rizzing it up in there. She goes, how about you? And I go, oh, you know. <laughs> so she goes, okay. And so she's like, so what can I get for you? I'm looking at the menu. I'm looking around. Bah, bah, bah. I say, you know what? Give me one of those hot chai lattes with oat milk. And she goes, we actually can't do any hot drinks right now. And I'm like, I look around. No, no signs. Nothing to tell me That's no good. that the hot drinks are no bueno right now. And she's like, so, like, iced? I was like, so, I guess. <laughs> but, like, you, why not tell me that when I walk in? Say, like, just so you know, before you order, that's 50% of your business, right? How about managing expectations? If you go to a place called Cookies and Cream, right, mm -hmm. and you go walk up and you go, yo, let me, get some, let me get some cookies. And they're like, so, just so you know, right now, we only have the cream. Like... <laughs> And you're like, okay, I'll just, that's fine. Because then, of course, you have to like, oh, yeah, yeah. No, that's cool. I actually wanted just the cream. Yeah. I didn't want cookies. Right. So they've they've just, they've already got me in. Because I'm yeah. going to go, actually, yeah, I wanted that iced. Oh, that actually sounds awesome. Give me that iced. And she goes, okay, that'll be $7. I'm like, that's not what it says on the screen. Yeah. This happened to me. The Hey, I got a third coffee shop story. Whoa. This is blowing up. Okay. Here you go. Went to this new place. The smash cut. Drip coffee, and I know you're excited about this part of the show. Drip coffee, iced coffee, ba ba da ba da. It's hot in there. I know it's cold out, but I say, give me the medium iced coffee. Okay, <gasps> I'm excited. She looks at me. She goes, "Um, you want like like an americano or like a cold brew?" I look at the menu again. Drip coffee, iced coffee, and I go, "I guess cold brew." Which then ends up being like a dollar and a half more than yeah. the iced coffee. Yeah. They're not even an, I'm like, why? That's not what your menu says. Uh huh. Anyway, I said, oh, yeah, actually, the cold brew sounds awesome. Five dollars? <laughs> sure. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Yeah. So I'm just, all these places are falling apart around here. Yeah. I think our coffee shop stories have, I thought when we started doing it, we were going to be sort of the Batman of town mm -hmm. where we are kind of patrolling and people are going to hear that we're out there. Mm -hmm. And we're keeping tabs on this stuff, but stuff's falling apart more. Well, you just keep voting with your dollars to promote this. Well, it's know, the it, I, we really yeah. downward spiral. Because I said, yeah, I'll take the cold brew, and they said <clears throat> yeah. we tricked another one. I think we really are Batman in that mm -hmm. we think we're solving the problem, but we're actually only inviting more issues. Yeah, because Batman comes and then. Suddenly the Rizzler shows up mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the Rizzler is taking over town and then he's rizzing everybody up. You take down the Rizzler and then who's this? Oh, the jokester's coming. Oh, okay. So now I have to deal with the jokester and the Rizzler. Then mm -hmm. they team up. Then there's the war of the jokes and the Rizzlers. And then you have they're fighting each other. Meanwhile, everyone in Gotham, mm -hmm. I'll call it. 
can't get a cup of coffee that's decent yeah for a cheap price and that's what's happening to us now because everyone's Absolutely. piling on him you've got bamf the big he's this big guy with a mask right he shows up and he's got mm. the venom going through his he's like i'm bamf he does the super he does the super finger and he's like he's basically breaking batman in half right he's, yeah he's like i blew his back out and we're like what <laughs> and, like, well, but not what you not what you think, like no. not in a good way. Yeah. And well, Batman's well, like, beg to differ. And we're like, what? Yeah. And he's like snapped in half. So you've got that guy. I mean, God, who else? You've got well, Poison Oak. <laughs> yeah. But they, they come because they, they like the challenge. They yeah. If he didn't exist, it would probably this be place fun. like I don't know, Gotham would be much better without him. That's just my two cents. Wait a minute. I think I found a I think I found a script under my chair. Oh, for one of the for one of the media verse. Yeah, yeah. Well, using excellent. the using the the places. Um, what do we have? So, I think why don't we just run a scene quick mm -hmm. of what we can do? Yeah. Um, like, like I said, I'm in. I think this will be the. Um, I think maybe we'll set it in the. Which which space do, should we set this in? This should probably be set in. Hmm. I'm going to go with the apartment set. Please. The apartment setting. You like the apartment. We like the apartment here. Okay. And we like the apartment. You'll read the part of Annette. I shall be Annette. Do you need any accents or, or some sort of Annette identifying feature? Well, this, this script I think I read on the front is called um, Cod of... Gar God of Garbage out of garbage that's right mm -hmm. so well put um and this is a, a a movie a short film set in boston i think you said okay right so annette and that's her right. two uh her two lovers potential mm -hmm. lovers have gathered in her apartment for the scene so I, I why don't we just go ahead and so you'll play annette and you'll just read all of annette's lines and okay. we will play her two lovers yes okay. we we know you know, know these? so yeah well you read we're your lines book. we're gonna be it. off book all right. and then you when we're done you just go to annette's next line i'm glad okay. you guys memorized your lines thank, thank you. you that's that's how we like to do and things it's because i just found it under my seat yeah these things appear all right are you ready yes yep and action calm down veronica calm down this is pointless What's pointless? My pencil? I forgot I broke it. Oh, shut up. You're always saying that. You're always saying you broke your pencil. Forget about it's it. It's a metaphor. Forget about it. That's your line. It's a metaphor. What do you mean? What's this got to do with it? Well, it's a metaphor my grandma taught me. She used to say, if you break your pencil, you'll never have to buy another one. You're a liar. You're a liar. He's a liar. I'm not a liar. I didn't even say anything. I was on your side the whole time. That's right. He was. Now I'm on his side. Me, Veronica. Analogous. On his side. Huh? What? Analogous. What are you talking about? Are there you no links you won't go to to humiliate yourself, Michael? Yeah. What? Uh, now I'm back on your side, and that one time I gotta be honest. One time I I put a pencil into the pencil sharpener, and I made it so small that it got stuck, and it was one of the one of the ones that's electric, so it was just in there, and I couldn't get it out. That sounds like you, Michael. I can't believe what you think you see in him, and that. Nope, that's Veronica. <laughs> nope, no, no, sorry. <laughs> Don't work yourself up into this state, Veronica. It's crazy. I'm trying not to, but he's just so stupid. He keeps talking about grinding his pencil away, his tiny little pencil and his tiny little electric I sharpener. I can hear you. I yes. can hear you. Yes, Veronica would like one too. By the way, it's pretty amusing. Someone descended from Spartacus and John Wayne who can't even pick up a mouse. Yeah, I like that movie too. <laughs> yeah, what is that, Troy? That Brad Pitt, hubba hubba. Here he comes walking right, down the now street. Now I'm back. What on about her? Side. I'm just spacing. What about her? What about her? I know he's got long hair in the movie, but uh, God, that Brad Pitt. Give me a drink, Michael. All right, <laughs> Michael. <laughs> Easy as pie. I had him waiting. What's the matter with you, Michael? Um, let me see. I got you a drink that you asked for. Yeah, I guess I'm the asshole. Is alcohol bad for you? God, I never thought I'd be asked that question. It it's, is. 
Let me just tell you right now, spoiler alert, he wasn't asking you, Veronica. Well, and that is always asking me when she's asking you. Alan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> Where the fuck? <laughs> and see. Oh my god. So that's the type of stuff this you is, can. This is the latest cod of garbage coming out. Yes. Uh, at Media River Studios. Using the, the apartment. apartment scene. Apartment. That's awesome. Yeah, I think I need to work on my Boston accent before we start shooting. It's okay. We have uh, we have dialect coaches coming in wow. from uh, Siberia. They're going to mm -hmm. be here next Tuesday. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. Are there any final things you want our uh, viewers and listeners to know about Mediaverse? Go ahead and plug it one more time. Well, uh, well, much of what you've heard tonight is not real. What is real is the <laughs> fact that uh, mm -hmm. we have. Did I say something? No, I mean you did say something. <laughs> If you say something, say something. Sometimes I just react to stuff. It's just in my nature to constantly be thinking about acting and learning and reacting to situations. Acting is reacting. True. So if you hear something from my mouth, do not respond. Butter. <laughs> uh, as a reaction to that, I'm going to tell you all that uh, Mediaverse is here in Marengo, Iowa, and we would love to help you with your project. If it's a filmmaking thing, if it's artistic or creative in any way, we have space for you here and we have resources and we want to share them with you. And what? what? I was gonna say one more thing. What do you think of the prequels? Um, well, I think that they do a really good job of explaining interstellar uh, diplomatic theory. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. think that they uh, go very deep into the Jedi uh, order mm -hmm. and the religious sects within. Uh, yes, please. In, team, in terms of religious sects, I think that Anakin <laughs> yes, and please. Padme should definitely have had more screen time. Um, yeah. More religious sects. In terms of the Clone Wars, I believe that uh, the animated series did a very good job of diving deep where the prequels did not. Mm. Um, all in all, I think that they were fantastic and held up, if not outdid, the originals. Wow. Well, as we say at the end of every episode, bud. Err. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. 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 listening to the prescribed films podcast network home to hundreds of hours of free podcast entertainment the shows on this network all have a common goal providing you with the best discussions about movies and other forms of entertainment media the pfpn hopes to fill your ear holes with audio joy visit our website with links to all the other amazing shows at www.thepfpn.com thanks for listening